on. Hi, I'm Jocelyn Wala and I'm the secretary of Metropolitan Performing Arts Board of Directors. I'm not really here to perform, so I'm doing you guys a great favor. I'm just here to tell you about Metropolitan Performing Arts. So first, let's listen to my daughter's version of how our journey with Metro started. I was a super energetic kid at home, making loud sounds, jokes, and doing some really, really bad dancing. But once I stepped foot outside, I was a really shy kid. I couldn't even order food by talking to the cashier. I couldn't say hi to my mom's friends at a party, and I would definitely never sing in front of anybody. My parents were starting to get worried as to why I was so anxious all the time, so they signed me up for a program called Metropolitan Performing Arts Academy in 2012, so when I was 8 years old. I was terrified. There were so many people and they were so happy and energetic all the time that I felt overwhelmed. But I thank my parents for signing me up because I'm still with them today and they shaped me into what I am today. So now that we've heard her side of the story, I'm here to make the story straight. It really started out when we watched the junior production of Little Mermaid and as soon as the production ended my six-year-old daughter blurted out mom i want to be on that stage too and i saw her eyes lit up and from then i decided okay i'm gonna sign her up and i'm gonna get myself involved as well as a volunteer and now i you know obviously i'm now a part of the board of directors and i'm trying to help in my own little way to keep it alive and keep it stronger for you know the future generation the phrase it takes a village to raise a child that rings true to me since i came from the philippines and i don't have my family here having person was kind of a bit of a struggle and i'm thankful i found a home with metropolitan performing arts so being with metro made our lives feel more bearable it's kind of like how we are feeling right now with covid19 you know feel like music and arts can contribute to helping lift our spirits heal our souls create this positive energy that makes us want to wake up every day despite all the struggles we have and so you know please help support metro by donating volunteering we need all the help we can get keep our doors open we really want to be um we really, really want to continue to become a part of your lives we really want to keep performing arts alive in our community and you can help us get through this so um enjoy cabaret and have a good night thank you hi i'm john matthews in the metro performing arts production of the fantastics I played Henry, the old actor. It was a wonderful experience for a new and beginning actor like myself. So in thank you to MPA and in memory of Henry, I'm doing a monologue from A Midsummer Night's Dream. Hast thou the flower there? I know a bank where the wild thyme blows where oxlips and the nodding violet grows, quite over canopied with luscious woodbine, with sweet musk roses and with eglantine. There sleeps Titania some time of the night, lulled in these flowers with dances and delight. There the snake throws her enameled skin, weed white enough to wrap a fairy in. And with the juice of this I'll streak her eyes and make her full of hateful fantasies. Take thou some of it, and search through this grove. A sweet Athenian lady is in love with a disdainful youth. Anoint his eyes, but do it when the next thing he espies may be the lady. Thou shalt know the man by the Athenian garments he hath on. Effect it with some care, that he may prove more fond on her than she upon her love. And look thou, meet me ere the first cock crow. <laughs>